All right, so over the years, I've noticed everybody out there that's been experimenting with high voltage has been doing nothing but taking a couple microwave oven transformers and putting them in series or parallel, however you want to do it, with no capacitors installed, and just running the high voltage leads out like I've had for the past two years and just running them up the rails. The thing is, there's something called resonance that's involved where you get the the two high voltage coils in tune with each other with capacitors to get the most efficiency out of your output. That's something that I haven't done, at least until now. I've been experimenting over the past week with resonance and only one microwave oven transformer. Back here I have two capacitors. One is a 0.78 microfarad and the other one's a 0.68 microfarad at 2100 volts, which I have series paralleled here with the high voltage output. I also have a power factor correction capacitor down here, which is only a 10 microfarad recommended 8, what is it, 80? I think it's 80. 80 microfarad capacitor in line with your 120 volt input. This is what I initially want to end up coming up with with the with the big stack over here thank you Katie for coming in there she's also helped me out with this video <laughs> anyway what I'd like to try and do is show you what this looks like uh, without these two capacitors installed what I've done is I've installed a jumper wire right here and all that does is bypass these two capacitors so my high voltage output from the transformer right here goes straight through and right out the other rail that's all that's doing. I got my chicken stick here, which is just connected to the body of the transformer, which is ground. And I'll draw a few arcs off of this and let you see what it looks like. Once I get done with that, I'm going to take that jumper out and put these two capacitors in series parallel circuit with it and put everything in tune or in resonance and let you see how much of a big of a difference it is. So Katie's going to take the camera over. What? Stand right here. All right. I'll plug it in, fire it up, and I'll let you see what it looks like. Alright, power it up. You see the light on? So this is what it looks like when you normally draw off just a transformer, microwave oven transformer, no capacitors installed whatsoever. You get maybe a two inch draw, that's about it. Can you see it up here, up top? So anyway, we've all seen that. No big deal. Now what I, <clears throat> what I want to do, is if you, can you see me on here? All right. So I'm going to take that jumper off. If you come in closer, Katie, and take a look. I'm going to take this jumper off of here. That way, these two capacitors, if I can get it off, will be in tune with the circuit. Now the high voltage that's coming out of this transformer will actually be going in. These two capacitors on one side, coming out the other side, and then through the rail, which is your high voltage output, which will put this circuit in tune. If you need to learn more about this, look up Wikipedia <laughs> or any other websites. It'll, it'll show you exactly what's going on and stuff like that. But I just wanted to give you a show of what exactly, how much, a, a bigger arc that you can get by tuning your circuit and getting a better output. As a matter of fact, let me turn this light off. I meant to do that earlier and I freaking forgot. All right. So now my capacitors are in parallel. <laughs> you can see the hell of a difference, don't you? All right. Now I'll take it off the top like I did before, which only had about that far of a difference. Now let me actually do the rail. Thank you, Katie. 
So anyway, that's the difference between having a actual resonant video, uh, actual resonant circuit going on, stumbling already, <laughs> and versus just a straight output from your transformer from here to there. Makes a hell of a difference. Now, if I can only get these two capacitors and those two capacitors back there, put it over here in a series parallel circuit with these two transformers. Have one hell of an arc. Hopefully, I'll get that gun. <clears throat> Hopefully, I get that done this weekend and get it posted up online so you can see what it looks like. Should be one hell of an arc. We'll see you then.